here with Arlene Nielsen. She is the designer and creator for The Hemptress, thehemptress.com, hemp handbags. Gorgeous. Um, let's talk about, let's first talk about why are you in the hemp handbag industry? What made you decide to go into hemp? Uh, that's an interesting little story. Um, I've been a handbag designer since 2001. And uh, about 2007, I was designing a, a, a freelance project. I was designing a bag for someone. And it was an average size bag and it was made out of lambskin. And I had to figure, do the math to figure out uh, how many square feet would be used to make this bag. And I realized that two animals would die for one bag because lambskins are only about that big. You know, so when you see someone carrying a beautiful lambskin bag, you know at least two animals died. Are know. they being eaten and used sustainably, well, or is it actually being killed for the bag? Well, presumably... I know alligators are killed for the bags that are like... Presumably lamb and beef are used for the meat, but still, I don't know. So, yeah. It just seems like people have a lot more handbags now than they used to, you know? <laughs> so I big question in my mind. Anyway, nice. I thought, geez, well, there must be, I love a nice leather handle and something sturdy and fabric handles going to get dirty after a while, you know. So I started researching this 2007 and uh, I came across hemp. And the more I learned about hemp, the more excited I got about it, you know. So you didn't actually know about it. You no. just started to learn about I it. And you're no like, oh, idea. I can use actually, this as a designer. Like, oh, this is a good material for me. I have to give credit where credit is due because I read it an article online about Woody Harrelson that yeah. he had tried to get, get arrested Woody by Harrelson. planting, um, trying to plant a hemp plant so he would oh. get arrested. Ah. So I, and then, wow, hemp, what is this stuff? It's not marijuana. And the more I looked into it, the more I got excited about it, started researching, and uh, I eventually found also uh, something to use as a handle, as a, as a trim which is reborn recycled leather. This is one of my bags. But <laughs> these bags, and no, no, these bags are like fashion savvy bags. This is like a bag that's gonna last. So tell me, is this all hemp? This is hemp, this is hemp. Well, this is the reborn recycled leather, this stuff here. They take- uh, Reborn recycled. Re or another word is uh, finished bonded leather. It's a new product. Um, basically, when, when a hide goes to a tannery to be uh, finished, they have to sand down the, fin the, the surface, about 10% gets thrown away and makes this leather sawdust. Mm. So then they take this leather sawdust and they bond it with cotton and denim fibers, put a polyurethane coating on it, which is lead free and eventually lead -free. biodegradable. Yeah. And it makes this beautiful leather product that is 20% actual leather scraps. And it's much more like real leather than any vegan leather or PU, PVC. It feels like leather. It, yeah, it even nice. has a very mild leather smell. If you're, when you first take it out of the package instead of smelling like plastic. And the best thing about it is it wears like leather. You can see it, the more right. it's worn, it starts to wrinkle like real leather, That's you cool. know. So between that and then um, the um, hemp, what I, I found that is that pretty much all hemp fabric comes from China. Uh, there's some that comes from Romania, but they haven't developed it the way the, way the Chinese have. Because I wish Chinese, it came from America. Hopefully yeah, soon that it will be. be. Nice, right?